Hi everyone, John Morris, Regional Technology Director for the Maryland DC region and KWU Technology Trainer. And today I wanted to show you a quick tip inside of Zoom that I think can help you guys with your businesses uh, as we are all working remotely at this time. Now, if you're an agent or a leader, I think this is going to be something you'll really like if you haven't been able to do this before or didn't know this was something that you could do inside of Zoom. And that is, we're all pretty familiar with being able to share a screen inside of Zoom. Uh, not everybody knows that you can actually share your iPhone uh, or your phone's screen as well. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to do this. Some useful applications for this. If I'm in leadership and I'm meeting with an agent and I wanna demo or show or train them how to utilize the app, I can pull up my phone screen on a Zoom and show them some things that they could be doing with their app. Uh, in addition to that, I can open up Kelly and be able to navigate and show agents around Kelly and treat them on being able to use those features uh, remotely. And then if I'm an agent, I can have an online meeting with my clients and be able to show them how to utilize uh, your app, uh, which is pretty awesome stuff. So let's just get into it. This doesn't take very long and we'll get through this video pretty fast. Uh, so we're going to start a meeting here. And we're going to join with computer audio there. Make this full screen so it's a little bit bigger. Now, what I'm going to want to do here is just like I normally would share my screen, I'm going to hit the green share screen button down at the bottom here. And then now we have the ability to share our screen, create a whiteboard, and be able to draw things on a whiteboard, which is pretty awesome too and then be able to share to an iPhone or an iPad. Now, I'm going to click the iPhone button, and then I'm gonna hit share. Now, the first time that you do this on your computer, if you haven't done this already, it's gonna ask you to download some, so uh, some software. And so click that button to download a uh, plugin. It only takes probably 30 seconds to do, and then that will take you to this screen here. You then need to make sure that your mobile phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your laptop or your desktop. And then you're going to select the screen mirroring option. And then you find that by basically uh, dragging your finger from the top of the screen down. And then once you, that'll bring up your control panel. And once you bring up your control panel, then you'll be able to set up your screen mirroring. So when you bring the control panel up, you'll see a, a an icon that looks like this. They're saying AirPlay here, but what it really says on your phone is screen mirroring, or at least it does on mine. So I'm gonna click the screen mirroring button. And then I'm gonna have the option to choose Zoom-12096. So I'm going to click that on my phone. I see where it says Zoom-12096. And then now you can see what I'm seeing on my phone. See how I said that it didn't really say AirPlay, it says screen mirroring, but you can see the logos there. This is the one we selected. And then now my phone is on a Zoom. So if I want to go into the consumer app, I can find the consumer app. And then I can navigate all through the consumer app here, check the feed stuff out. Obviously feed's not there yet, guide, and then some of the search functionality as well too. So I can demo if I'm an agent, how to utilize my app to my clients uh, remotely. In addition to that, again, like I said, if I wanted to go in and open up Kelly, I can open up Kelly and then be able to utilize this to show agents how to do things inside of Kelly. And then eventually when we get command mobile, you'll be able to do those types of things as well too. So really cool feature that you can do. And then once you're done with that, if you want to stop the mirroring, you just bring up the control panel again, you hit zoom, and then you hit stop mirroring, and then that brings you back out. Now here, I'm going to give you one real quick tip on one more thing. Uh, so we're going to hit share screen again. And then the whiteboard's pretty awesome because if we want to draw any sort of diagrams for uh, people that we're having meetings with, we can come right on here and we could do that as well. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. 
Sorry for my chicken scratch. I'm using my finger to draw this onto my screen. But you can draw graphics, draw whatever you want to, to be able to demonstrate uh, some things uh, to your clients and or to uh, your agents if you're in leadership. And then you can put text boxes in here. You can use some of their stuff to draw a little bit better. So if I wanted to put a text box, I can put a, a text box in here. And then I can type in the Zoom is awesome, which looks a whole lot better than my chicken scratch. Uh, and then we can format some of these things, just put stamps, spotlights, uh, change colors, all that good stuff. Uh, so some really cool tips that we can use to continue to run our businesses remotely at a high level and not have to suffer uh, for uh, not being able to meet face to face with people. Uh, hope you found some value out of this and we'll talk to you next time.